Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Memory Paris Son and welcome to our course, Electricity and Magnetism. And today, we're going to discuss conductors and insulators. Conductors are substances that allow free electrons to flow through them easily, thereby transferring energy in the form of electricity as electrons move freely from atom to atom. Metals such as copper, aluminum, iron, gold, and silver are good conductors of electricity as the electrons are free to move from one atom to another. Other conductors include semiconductors, electrolytes, plasmas. Plus non-metallic conductors such as conductive polymers and graphite. Next are insulators. They are substances that have exactly the opposite effect on the flow of electrons. These substances impede the free flow of electrons, thereby inhibiting the flow of electrical current or substances that prevent the flow of current. Examples of insulators are glass, plastic, ceramics, paper, rubber, and etc. Next are semiconductors. These are the materials that allow electric currents to flow, but only partially. Semiconductors are employed in the manufacture of various kinds of electronic devices, including diodes, transistors, and integrated circuits. Such devices have found wide application because of their compactness, reliability, power efficiency, and low cost. Elemental semiconductors include antimony, arsenic, boron, carbon, germanium, selenium, silicon, sulfur, and tellurium. Silicon is the best known of this, forming the basis of most integrated circuits or ICs. To summarize the difference between conductors from insul insulators, we have here the comparison chart. Conductors are materials that allow free flow of electrons from one atom to another, while insulators, they won't allow free flow of electrons from one atom to another. Conductors conduct electricity because of the free electrons present in them, while insulators, they insulate electricity because of the tightly bond electrons present within atoms. For conductors, these materials can pass electricity through them, while insulators, the materials cannot pass electric current through them. For conductors, atoms are not able to hold onto their electrons tightly, but for insulators, atoms have tightly bound electrons thereby, unable to transfer electrical energy well. For conductors, materials that are good conductors generally have high conductivity, while insulators, good insulating materials, usually have low conductivity. Examples of conductors are metals. They are copper, aluminum, silver, iron, and others. For insulators, common are rubber, glass, ceramic, plastic, asphalt, pure water, and etc. That's all for now. Thank you and keep safe.